Hi Dresser, Katie Sweeney here. Today we're going to draw a pit bull, so let's get started. To draw this cute pit bull, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So we're going to come right here and draw a circle. And come right across, say about this wide, and draw another circle. There. So now with my eyes, I have my circles in. Let's make them draw so cute eyes with so two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. There, so that my eyes in, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to just add a soft curve that kind of comes down right here on the edge just to anchor my eyes and give the eyes a little bit more definition. So I'm just going to pop out a curve right here. And if you like, you can even bring it out right about here as well. Just a slight curve coming out just to soften the eyes. We want a friendly pit bull. <laughs> So here I'm trying to make it look nice and friendly. Okay, so I just have this little curve over the eye. Then from there, let's draw the nose. So right in between the eyes, a little bit lower. So say about right here, we're going to draw this big prominent nose. So I'm just going to draw a soft curve about right here and round it off. Then I'm going to bring it down a little bit and then connect it at the bottom with a soft V. About right here, round it off on the tip and bring it back up. There. And depending on the color of your pit bull, um, the nose might not be black. So I'm just going to come right here and I'm not going to shade it in black like usual. I'm just going to put in two black circles right here for the nostrils and then connect it right here with a curve. Pretty distinct looking nose right here with a curve. And then in the center will be this little line right here as well. So like I said, depending on the color of the pit bull that you want to draw, the nose might be a different color. Okay, so then now that we have the nose, let's go ahead and draw the mouth. We're going to come straight down the center, a little bit line right here and straight down. And then we're going to go up with a big curve for the mouth. And we're going to end about the same area as the eyes. So let's come out about right here. There it goes reach out towards the eye area about right here and then round it off same thing over here so we're not going to go beyond the eyes so curve and then bring it out so i just want to make sure i'm about the same level on both sides about right here and then we're gonna round it off and before I finish that, I forgot, I need to come in here, about right here, I'm going to draw in the tongue, nice and center. Bring this nice big tongue down to about right here. And connect. And then right here in the center, I'm just going to flick out a long line, straight line down. There. So then now let's go ahead and finish this mouth. So I'm going to bring this down towards the tongue. So let's say about right here. Let's give our pit bull here a big smile. Right here and same thing over here. So same area. And connect. And I'll come in here and shade this in all black so you can see it a little bit better. And simplify it. Okay, there. So then now let's go ahead and frame the face. So I'll come back, let's see here, let's come back to where the eyes are and let's see. Let's come, yeah, let's come back to the top of our eye, come out a little bit. So say about right here, I'll just give myself a point. 
And same thing here, just use that as my starting point. And from there, I'm going to basically bring a slight line down, slight curve, and about in this area where the mouth is, I'm gonna come out a little bit, kind of like for a cheek area. So I'll say about right there, I'm just gonna draw a slight curve, and then I'm gonna bump it out a little bit. Bump it out a little bit, and come towards the mouth. So same thing here, come down, slight curve, and then once again, about right here, just bump it out a tiny bit and start to bring it in. So we're going to bring it in really close. So say about right here and here. We're going to bring in this curve right underneath the mouth. So definitely turn your paper or your body, whatever helps to draw this curve. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's come back to where the mouth is and we're going to draw just a soft curve, comes up right here, just to give it some definition. Same thing over here, a little curve around the mouth. And then let's see, then we're gonna go up. So let's bring this up. We're gonna draw, start to draw the top of the head. So let's find our center, let's say about right here just not too high up about right there my center i'm just going to draw a soft curve right in the center then from there i'm going to bump it up slightly just very little and connect so same thing here bump it up slightly and connect back there and I almost forgot, let's draw a soft curve over each eye. And when you're coloring, depending on the markings you want to give your pit, do uh, pit bull, that's when when you color it, you can either put one straight down, curve it around. That will help um, finish up the face a little bit better. Okay, so then from there, let's come back to the ears. So about right here, and we're going to bring out these floppy ears. We're going to come down, kind of curve it out a little bit to make it a little bit more fun. And then round it off and go back. And as I come back right here, I'll just thicken it up a tiny bit. Then come back into the space bar right here. And we're just gonna draw a soft curve to finish it up. There. So same thing on the other side. About right here. Once again, we're just gonna curve it out. And to about right here, round it off. Same thing like the other side. Just make it a little bit thicker about right here. And then once again, go ahead and connect. There. Okay, so now we have the ears in. Let's go ahead and draw the body. So let's see here. Let's come by right here. They're very strong dogs. So I'm going to make the neck area really thick. So let's come about here and here. And we're going to go out with an angle on both sides. And then about right here, I'm going to bring it in. There, so that's the beginning of our shoulder area. Then let's come back to about right here. So I'll just start my legs about right here. And here, I'll bring it in. So same thing here. I'm just gonna go back and forth. So about in this area, same thickness. And let's bring down the front legs. So I'm gonna come in. Take a look how tall you want to make your pit bull. So say about right here, I'll stop. Bring this side down a little bit more and then I'm just going to pop out a paw and connect. And then I'm just putting two little curves right here. Round this off a little bit more. There. So same thing on this side. About the same area, but right there, and then pop it out. And 
didn't say anything. And two little curves. There. So now that we have that in, let's come to the center bar right here. Come up a little bit and we're just going to connect in this area with a soft curve. And then the back legs. Let's come about right here. About a little bit lower in this area. I'm going to pop out a curve and bring it in. But right there and then the back. Foot and in. Just add a little curve. So same thing on the other side. So pit bulls are basically all chest, right? So that's why the back legs are a little bit scrawnier. And same thing here. And a curve. And let's see here. That is pretty much it. Do we want to put a collar on our, let's, if you want to put a collar, then let's come back right here. It'd be nice to put some color on our pit bull. Come right here and draw a curve. Imagine it coming over, over being overlapped. And connect. And then once again, when you're drawing, uh, when you're coloring, you can put different markings on it, however you like. And I'll pop this out just a little bit for our collar. And then I'll add a heart right here to make this pit bull my draw so cute pit bull. And that is pretty much it. I really hope you love how this turned out and that I helped you draw this cute dog fun and easy. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.